So this time we're not going to actually be working out the recurrent relation, we're going to be working out the rule in terms of n. Okay, it will look something like this. Okay, um, of course we're not going to have these zero, we're actually going to have a number here. If it's increasing, we'll put plus. If it's decreasing, we're going to put minus. So I'm going to sort of teach you my way, it's using the rules, and um, but not really writing them down. So we've got a flat rate depreciation. Again, it goes down. Don't worry too much about this. I'm going to make you think about things. Unit cost, there it is. The V of N equals V of 0 minus ND. Again, we're not going to have V of 0 here. We're going to have the number. We're going to have the D for the, de not the D for the depreciation. We're actually going to have the values here. So example one, this one's already written for you, but I'm going to show you, um, we're going to do this as well. Using a rule, so we're going to use the rule here. Following returns for relation can be used to model a simple interest investment. What is the principle of the investment? The principle is how much did it cost at the start? That's our V0. So part A, V0, principle is $3,000. How much interest is added? How much is added? Well, $260. So interest equals $260 all the time. Part B, write down a rule for the value of the investment after N years. So we don't want it as a recurrence relation, we want it as an nth rule. So as an nth rule, we're going to have V of N equals our initial investment, which is $3,000, V of zero, $3,000, plus what is it going up by? Well, it's going up by $260. We worked that out every year. Every year, so times N. So this is our rule. So this same rule is now written in terms of N. So again, the next one that we're going to get is our initial investment plus $260 every year. Part C, here's the rule to find the value after 15 years. Okay, well, I want to know after 15 years. Here it's easy, we just put n equal to 15. 260 times 15, it works it out all for us. We use that on our calculator and we get $6,900. Part D, Use a rule to find the value of the investment when it first exceeds $10,000. So we want this rule to be equal to 10,000. So I'm going to put it in, but I'm going to solve it on my calculator. So I'm going to write solve 3,000 plus 260N equals 10,000 for N. And when you get N, you get 26.9231, so you can't have 26.9 years, so we go to 27 years. It's going to take 27 years to go over $10,000. Example 2, use a rule to determine the value of the simple interest. It says Amy invests $4,000, that is our V of zero, in a simple interest investment Paying interest at the rate of 6.5% per year, use a rule to find the value after 10 years. Well, let's work out our rule. Okay. Her interest that she's going to get all, all the time is 6.5% of the $4,000. So 6.5 divided by 100 times the 4,000, which will give us $260. So V of N will equal the 4,000 plus every year $260 times N. Now we want to know after 10 years. So V of 10 will equal 4,000 plus 260 times 10. When we work that out, we're going to get $6,600. Example 3. This is talking about flat rate. The following recurrence relation can be used to model the flat rate depreciation of a set of office furniture. And there it is. There's a recurrence relation. N is the value after N years. What's the initial value? We can see $12,000. Initial value equals 12,000. How much does the furniture decrease in value each year? Decrease, 
by $1,200. Decreases by $1,200. Write down the rule of the value of the investment after N years. So this is in terms of N, not as the recurrence relation as we have here. Okay, so V of N will equal the initial 12000 It's going down $1,200. We worked that out in part A every year. There we go. Use the rule to find the value after six years. Well, after six years, we're just going to go V of six, which is 12,000, minus 1,200 times six, and we're going to work that out on our calculator, and we get $4,800. How long does it take for the furniture's value to decrease to zero? Well, we want zero, so we can put zero in here, in the VN, and then solve for N. So that's what I'm going to do, solve. This equal to zero, 12,000 minus 1,200 N for N. We didn't have to do it this way, we could just press enter anyway. And when you do solve for N, you're going to get 10 years. B, a photocopier in the office costs $6,000 when new. Its value depreciates at the flat rate, the same amount every year, 17.5% of the new value, so $6,000. What's its value after four years? Well. Let's work out how much it's going to go down every year. So it depreciates every year 17.5% of this $6,000. So 17.5 divided by 100 times $6,000 equals $1,050. So every year it's going down by that much. So if I write my rule, V of N will equal 6,000 minus 10, $1,050 for every year. So we want four years later, we've got 6,000 minus 1050 times four, which means we have $1,800. Example four. Hairdryer in a salon was purchased for $850, so there's our V of zero. Value of the hairdryer depreciates by 25 cents for every hour in use. Now this is in dollars, this is in cents. I'm going to change this dot cents to dollars, so zero dollars, 25 cents, like that, 0 0.25. Then be the value of the hairdryer after n hours of use. Write down a rule to find the value of the hairdryer after n hours of use. Okay, so after n hours. Starts off at $850. Every time we use it, it goes down 25 cents. There it is for every hour of use. What's the value of the hairdryer after 50 hours? Okay, so V 50. We equal 850 minus 0 0.25 times 50. Of course, we're just going to work that out. So it's worth $837.50. Pen is playing up. Apologies there. $837. Or let wrong. $837.50. On average, the salon will use a hairdryer for 17 hours each week. How many weeks will it take the value of the hairdryer to half? Well, let's do this for 17 hours a week. For 17 hours, it's going to depreciate. 17 hours, every hour goes down 25 cents times 0 0.25. So when we do that, it's going down every week $4.25 every week. Okay, so if we want it to halve, it is $850. Half of that, $425. So it's going to drop $425, okay? So to get how many weeks, we're going to get the $425. And it goes down by $4.25 every week. How many weeks does it take? It takes 100 weeks. 